always have to keep going to another level. So I stand on the shoulders of my successes and my trophies, but I don't sleep in the trophy room. What up, what up? My name is Lo Santonio. Welcome back. This is No Sleeping in the Trophy Room, the conversation fueled by motivation, experience, and truth. And I'm super excited about my guest tonight. This man right here is your favorite A&R's favorite A&R, Supreme Dot Connector, executive producer of Latin music at the Universal Music Group. I'm talking about the one and only Donnie Dizzy Clean Face Flores. What it do, on, what brother? it do, what it do, man. Yo, Dizzy, man, thank you so much for taking the time to step into the trophy room. We greatly appreciate you, man. Shit, I appreciate the time to even be here. Absolutely, you know? for sure. So how we can spill it, let's spill it. So, yo, I'm gonna get right into it, man. There's so many places we can start, Dizzy, but, um, yeah, I wanna start where it all started for you. I know you represent Trinidad and Venezuela, but I want you to take me back to Trinidad, man. Um, what were some of the, the values that were instilled in you early, and how did coming up in Trinidad shape your perspective on life? Um, coming up in Trinidad, it was like real different. We was really poor. We really didn't have a lot. Mm -hmm. um, and the only thing that, like, thing that made me happy was music. You know what I'm saying? And it's like growing up in the worst part of the islands, like seeing that like when I was like five, six years old, a murder, like different things. Like it, it just shaped my head. Like I just, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to say not my life. So I wanted to do something different. So you grew up like witnessing firsthand what you didn't want from life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you moved to Miami. Moved to Miami when I was 16. So what was the thought process there when you moved to Miami from Trinidad? Like you, you leave one, one life behind and you're, st and you're starting fresh. Cause, cause, you, cause, you, you, Cause you saw Scarface. Yeah. When Scarface landed in, in Miami, he had the whole like, so, mo he was motivated. So. so like when I was on that plane, cause I never thought I would go to the States and all that stuff. Like, so I remember I was on that plane heading to the state, and I just like, I don't never want to come back over here. Like, you know what I'm saying? People are like, yo, and I'm like, nah, I don't want to do it because it's like, I grew up, it was really rough. So to get into Miami, like seeing it, seeing a whole different lifestyle and just getting a whole different energy, like how to, you know what I'm saying? And it's, it was just fun. Like it was, it was something different. I felt like I made, I could be somebody over here. Like over there, I didn't feel like I could be anybody. So you saw a lot of inspiration here. Yeah. You hit the ground, you were motivated. Yeah. Man, so, um, you know, I did my research and um, I, I really want to get into, um, you know, some people say that like when you read the signs in, in, in life, you know, you can find your purpose. Mm -hmm. what, was this always the vision for you? Was music, no. you know, being an executive producer, was this always a thing or was there a certain moment? It was a moment. Let, let's talk about that. So, um, I was like, like 19, 18, I had like, a, um, but I always had like, I love music, like I say. When I was like 18, 19, I had like a job selling cars and stuff. Like I had a kid at young. Right. And basically was like, for me it was like, I was going to work every day, da -da -da, doing a nine to five thing. And it's like, my, I was just feeling empty inside. Like, you know, I feel like this wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't for me. And I just like, and I kept on, the feeling kept on coming inside. Like, you know, you could do more, you could do more. And I just was like, I gotta take care of a kid. I gotta, you know what I'm saying? I yeah, it's, it's a crossroad. Yeah, I, I was, so basically, I was, um, I took my family, went to like, I had timeshare at that time, and we went to Orlando. And while I'm driving there, my baby mother at the time, she was driving the car, and um, we got into a bad accident. Like, I'm talking about the car flipped like six different times, like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, when it was flipping, I, I saw my whole life in, in, in the car, like I saw my like I, I was like when I was a kid, everything I just see my life just flashing and just I remember the time where like like I just felt like something just grabbed the car and then put it on the ground like, mm. boot, like and then like the windows busted out and it's like they they brought they had the helicopters they had all that stuff over there and it's like uh, the baby's in the back duh, 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 and it's like we had not even a scratch and it, it was pouring rain. And it's like, I'm in the rain, my sh I'm, I'm pushing into shoes and clothes and it's all over the road and I don't even care. Like, and I'm just sitting there like, like uh, I felt, now I know when you go deep into it, now I know it's like I had a purpose Absolutely. and I was not following my purpose. I was being selfish and was worrying about, and that was not his way, like what he wanted. So that was like a lesson. Like if you keep playing, like I'm gonna take you out. Absolutely. So when I got that, I like just, my mom went back 
and I quit the job. Like I never wanted to do that no more. And I just started getting, you know, doing like the music thing. Like I started getting into promoting and doing this, passing out flyers, doing a whole bunch of stuff, whatever it took to do it. Like I was just hustling like crazy and that. And it's like, I started, you know, doing that. And I started, my, my cousin wasn't, my cousin passed away now. He was invested into a lot of my stuff. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you want to do that? All right, I got it. You want to do that? He was, but he was, we was taking street money, like, you know what I'm saying? And, like, and really doing it, like, doing like shows and bringing all these artists. I'm like, yo, I want to do this. I want to bring these artists. I want to do this. And he was like, fuck it, let's do it. So promoting was the was the alleyway. Yeah. So when I started promoting and I started getting a name, I started doing dealing with different cultures and how to move and connecting. I was like, man, this shit's dope. And I met um met this young guy, uh, man named Byron. He just got out the feds, and he saw something in me that I didn't even see it in myself. He was like, you ever think about? doing a music thing and I was like, I was like, nah, you know, I, I'm just, I'm happy where I'm at. Like I got the, you know, I, I'm the hot, the yeah. club, the promoting thing, I'm good. Like, yeah. and he's like, man, I think you could do better. And I was like, ah, all right, cool. And it's That's like- a blessing, man, for yeah. real. For somebody to come see that. Yeah, 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 and Byron Trice. For real. Byron Trice, Word yeah, up. so. Um, and he came out of fair, he was just like telling me, that, he's like, yo, I just want to just come down and you know, intern, I was like, well, intern, you don't get money. Like, I don't understand. Like, I need to get my money. He's like, no, nah, whatever, just, just see how it feels. So I remember, like, at that time, a lot of my friends were getting killed. A lot of people were getting, like, arrested and shit like that. On Not a lot of shit. options out there. So it wasn't a lot of options. So I was like, you know what? Let me just try to do this. And I just did it. I remember, like, working with him, under him. Like he had me like, you know, interning like Rick Ross when Rick Ross was not, you know, he was whatever. I have to remember driving Rick Ross to shows and doing different things, just being around like. So this is now your internship at Slip and Slide. Yeah, Slip and Slide with Slip, Byron. At Slip and Slide Records. So, so what, did that, what did that, you know, coming off of, cause it's super inspiring that you, you know, you took steps to get into a lane. You didn't really know what was there, but yeah. you were in that direction. I mean, so, so talk to me about that, that Slip and Slide Records internship and what that opened up your eyes to. Also, one of my things was I was driving Rick Ross to a show. Rick Ross was not Rick Ross. So it's like, he was just, you know, Rose, like whatever, like, and we go on to West Palm Beach and he was like, he was telling Gunplay, it was me, him and Gunplay in the car. He said, Gunplay, man, I did a song last night, man. I think it's gonna change my life. If, you know, I put everything in this shit. Like, I just remember that and it's like, and he played it and it was hustling and it was rough. And I'm just like, we playing it back to back to back on the way to West Palm Beach. And it's a great song to listen to. Yeah, it's so it's like, and I was like, man, this, this thing, this feels real special. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it was just amazing. We get to the club and then the promoter's like, oh, y'all too early, we went to eat, came back. And people there, he performing. And he's like, yo, tell the DJ, play the, you know, drop the new one. I was like, all right. And when they played it, the people was not even like, they weren't feeling it? Yeah, it, was, it wasn't like, cause you know what I'm saying? Like it wasn't. It was still early. It yeah. Was, yeah, yeah. And I just remember like a month, like when Khaled, DJ Khaled just went crazy on the radio. And I just remember like a month late night, it was just like it happened so fast to whatever, but it wasn't, he'd been putting a lot of work in for years, right. but me coming and seeing it happen so fast to see, you know, to see him and to see like the Jay-Z thing, the Khaled thing is like, boom. And, and this man like instantly came to boom. Yeah. I was just like, wow, like this is this is real. Like I'm, you know, I'm around some. I gotta stop paying a little more attention to this, like, and stop and stop trying to dibble in the street stuff and whatever. Like, let's put, put my energy into this. And I just remember, like, you know, seeing that. Like, went to the video shoot. I was in the video too. You put me in the video with, the, with all the slip and slide things. Oh, that's dope. I'm gonna have to go back and go check that. Yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, I was like young as hell, and it's like, and then. Um, I just started taking it more serious. I started getting, you know, find, trying to find talent now in the, in the, in the thing. I was like, I'm gonna find talent. I want to do some things. Cause I, I'm, I can't rap. I right, can't, right. Really, you know what I'm saying? Let me find some talent and whatever. I had this kid there. Uh, I found Dirty Red. He was buzzing. Then I had this kid Ball Greasy. that had the whole thing, the floor to pop in. You know, we had like, we was on our way to sign a big deal. And uh, I remember the, the guy had passed away. We were supposed to go that week to New York to do, close the deal and he passed away. Um, so it's like, and then we just kept on flying around just like, so I was just being around all of that. Right. And then like my real first break that I had that taste a little something with the fame and everything else is was um, when I executive produced, like I didn't even know what about none of it. I, just, I didn't even know what it was at that time. Right. So it's like my friends was Blackout Movement, right? So Blackout Movement, 
was like, these was my guys. We used to be at their house. They had a, a house, a, a studio in North Miami going over there. They had Jason Derulo before he was anybody. They had like, you know what I'm saying? Like Mims. So they had a song, This Is Why I'm Hot. Yeah, for sure. So it's from Long Island. Right. Yeah. So Mims, like, you know what I'm saying? The song, This Is Why I'm Hot was like going, to, that was the only thing I was close to that was like, you know what I'm saying? Like everything else was just like my little circle. We having a little, a little, a moment. And it was like, it was like, we're we going to do a remix. And they're like, who you think we should put on it? And they like play, they had playing me like Red Cafe, whole bunch of like New York rappers on it. I'm like, man, listen, do y'all see what's going on the radio right now? Are y'all paying attention to it? And it's like, well, I said, dog, reggae is, 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 is you know, it has a thing is like, I think we should put some reggae into it. Yeah. And it's like, well, what do you think? I was like, let me just work on it. And like my cousin at that time, Sh King Shiloh, um, my uncle had a club in Brooklyn for years. It was Club Kalaloo, like the only island, like real West Indian club. So my cousin Shiloh was the DJ for that, and he was DJing for um, Junior Reed. Okay, dope. So I remember like, I was like, I'm gonna get Junior, let's get Junior Reed, and they had Baby Shiloh, like, let's get that. So I remember I went to Junior Reed, Junior Reed was like, yo, um, I want money. Like, you know what I'm saying? I said, I said, yo, trust the vision. Like, listen, let, come meet the guys, hear the song before, you know what I'm saying? And just see the vision before you go do all that. Smart. So you had to tell him we're good. So we we're come, good. we come, I mean, we went to the house and then we in the house, he heard the song, he's like, yo, the song, mod, the song crazy. Like, you know, he just started going off. I said, yo, just, you know, so do your thing. He, and he, he was just like, yo, what are these kids? You know what I'm saying? I don't know what to, what are these kids talk about? I said, they step in the club, they drink champagne, da 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 And we just going in there. And then I didn't even know, that's cold rock. I didn't know nothing about it. I just, I just giving him ideas. He put in the step in the club of champagne with your pop. This is why, this is why. So whatever, like, but I was just giving it to him, and it's like, it just, and it came, I remember he used to say, number one record on the billboard chart, this is why, this is why we hot. Crazy. So it's like, we, I remember we dropped it, it was a BET thing, it just went crazy. Yeah, for sure. Like, you know what I'm saying, it's to see it, and it's like, to see it was number one worldwide, went number one on the billboard, and I was like, holy, this is like, this is like, I'm part of a, you know what I'm saying, this was crazy. But here comes the business part. Right. So not knowing, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, from that, I'm thinking blackout, he got it, da 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 He's on the same level as me, he just, it all happened at the same time. Right. They went and put all kind of samples in the song. Oh. So now the song, like, the samples got, you know, that ate up the whole thing. Yeah. So we didn't, you know, so we didn't get no thing. We got, we, we toured, we got our money, our different things, but it's like, we didn't get the, you know, the real money. Right, what, what people would think that. Yeah, so it's like, it's like, that's what I, when I learned, I was like, damn. Um, yeah, I gotta go learn about this publishing and all this other stuff because I don't ever want this to happen ever again. Right. So, you know, that's when I started going in and just started, and I started signing producers. I had this kid named Vinny. I started, you know, I started going that route. I just took him, I'm like, he was a kid from Boca Raton, white Italian kid, and he was just talented. He played every inch, you know, he was dope. So I just like, yo, we gonna come in. I was like, I got, I got all these promoters, all these artists I've been booking for years, I got relationships, I'm gonna just, Come in this way, I'm gonna do this. And I just started doing these placements, like bum bum, with everybody, like, yo, yeah, it's dope. So this is like AR and like yeah, so nat naturally. Yes, yeah, so I'm just putting this thing, so I'm like, yo, I'm just used, because I, I was, I don't, I'm, I'm the guy that brings the bags. For sure. They know me for the bags, for the shows and everything else. So I was like, I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna bring beats, and I'm bringing, I'm gonna bring the bags and hits. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I took that and I was just like, there's a lot of people in this game, like to this day, I just was just giving bags. They come in town in Miami like, yo, I got a bag over here for you, I got a bag. Like, that's what I was doing. So I built a relationship with a lot of these people when they come in Miami, like, the, you know, you gotta go mess with Dizzy. Sure. So it's like, um, you know, coming from that, like I was just getting placements with him and, you know, under like the E-class, e I took a liking to me from Poe Boy Records. And he's like, man, I see something in you, like, you know, I want you to come and he had me like, running around with the flow rider, running around with all the bris, like all the people, you know, in Miami. And like, he was like the king of Miami. Like, right. you know, and he was taking me on his wing. Like, like he saw it in me too. Like, you know what I'm saying? That was just like, damn, you know. So, so, so that kind of brings me to my next point. Um, you know, Dizzy, this is no sleeping in the trophy room. Yeah. You know, this conversation is all about the information and sharing it with, with people who are, you know, aspiring to do it just like you are. Um, so, what would be your advice uh, to somebody that's watching this at home on how to take, because you mentioned moment earlier with yeah. the Mims thing. Um, what's your advice on how do you take a moment and turn it into a movement? You know what I'm saying? Um, a lot of praying, a lot of family praying for me, like, you know, a lot of guidance in that way. Like, 
just the signs are there. Pay attention to the signs. Like, you know what I'm saying? Don't just go into like, you just think it's about you. Like just, you know, it's, but yeah, I put everything. Cause I never had school. I never had nothing. I put everything into this. Like there was no second option. Like it was like, this is what I want to do. If I don't do it, I'm done. Like, I don't even want to do it. It's like, this is what I want to do. Yeah. Like I, yeah, Cause remember I did the working thing. Didn't work. Like, you know how I was, I was died. So yeah. it's like, I just put everything into that. Like, people like, yo, Till this day, people are like, yo, how, when do you sleep? Yeah. I say, I get a couple hours in. It's like, it's like you always going. Like, you always like, because I feel like it's bigger than me. It's a bigger purpose. And I'm here for a real reason. And I'm really, you know what I'm saying, just trying to just, you know, help the, the youth. The, I, like, I'm all, I, I believe, I see things before they happen. And I can't explain it. Like, it just happens. Like, yeah. I see it before Intuition. it happens. Intuition. Yeah, it's just, it's just, I could, it always been like that. And, and what like, about from like an artist standpoint? Anybody could have a could have a wave, catch a wave. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But it's like, how do you take take a wave and literally just add on to it, extend it? You I'm know what I'm saying. Scared like waves is great, yeah. but the thing about waves, if you catch, you can go so big the first time. Yeah, it's hard to come back. It's like a house. You can't have a house without the foundation. So that, you know what I'm saying? A lot of these kids now, like, you know, it comes, like they didn't know what it is to grind and da da da. They just from their house, they put a record out, went crazy on the internet. So they don't know about the radio promos, the meeting the DJs, meeting the people and really building that one-to-one yeah. because they just blew up on the internet. Yeah. So it's a big difference to from, you know, back then, how hard you had to go. So, I mean, I just think like, you know, go back sometimes, like, you know, it's about meeting the people, real, you know, have a relationship with them. Like, yeah. I, I just remember just, you got to have real relationships, like, at the end of the day, because people, what goes up must come down. Absolutely. And the people, you know, I just believe in that. Like, always stick to your craft and be real to yourself. Yeah. So if you're listening at home, this is this is Real Keys coming from Dizzy, man. Get out from behind that laptop. Get out there, go shake some hands. Make your product tangible. And uh, and it's new ways to shake hands, too. Like, yeah, for real. In the internet, just, hey, I'm such and such. Just want to reach out. Blah, blah, blah. Just, they have it so much easier now yeah. than, than where we, you know, that we came from the ground. Like, Absolutely. really have to put that work in from state to state, to city to city. Like, yeah. you can just press one button now, boom. That's say you're there. It's promoted. It's, it's, it's doing work for me. I got promoted ads going on in Colorado, yeah. all up it's and down. Wild. It's wild. So, Dizzy, I want to talk about the, uh, the power of Latin music. You know, Latin music has the ability to transcend genres, transcend, transcend you know, time. So, what is it about? you know, Latin music, you know, you've, you've created some, some huge anthems, you know, that, ha- that have that fabric in it, man. What is it about Latin music that you feel can just, you know, you could take a sample from 30 years ago, mm-hmm. mix it up now, and, and you know what I'm saying? So I just want to get your vibe on. So like, like Latin, it's like, when you hear it, it's about feeling, it's about, you know, feeling good, dancing, everything, right? So I remember like, back again, back in my promoting days, I'm in there doing Spanish shows. I'm in there doing all kinds of stuff. So I just see that like, yo, they, they love dance. They love, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, you know what? Like, it's 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 always been a feeling like I just feel like they just it's happy music. You know, it's just it's great. Yeah. And I just feel like you just I just want to do it big. I never wanted to like mess it up and do like how I look at it when I put put these clubs and everything together. Like, and I'm part of it. I'm mean, I help out. You know what I'm saying? It's like if they can't fit if they can't hang out in the room have a drink or whatever they don't need to be on the song for sure because it has to be organic people they know they got to know real they know what real is they know they got to feel it you know what i'm saying so when you see when these records that come together if they can't i will never force a record or none of that stuff like they gotta come they gotta be you know like they can have a drink they can smoke they can do whatever it has to be organic yeah. so when it comes out people can feel it they promote it you don't even have to tell somebody yeah promote it it's already going because they already Vibing, feel it. They feel it. And and that's all a, about that feeling. And, and that's amazing too, man, because that shows that you preser- that you're preserving the sound yeah. by doing that. You ain't just taking it because there's a fine line between using it and abusing yeah, it. Yeah, and it's like you know I think saying? that's why people come in and they're like, oh, I'm gonna put this person on this person because this person numbers. Nah, who songs good on it? Who does this? Like who? You know what I'm saying? Like who? Who? Because at the end of the day, I'm always for the underdog. Like you know what I'm saying? It might not be a big one. It might be somebody else. I believe in. I feel like that can do it. And it's like they kill it and they do it. It is what it is. Sure. Like I remember like with Snake, DJ Snake, he's the one that really brought me into doing all this other stuff like on another level. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? He was like, I want to get a sooner. Like a sooner was like popping off. And he was like, I was like, yo, my lawyer, his, you know, and my lawyer Angie, 
is his lo- is his lawyer Angie put me with him. I remember I'm chasing him down for like two three months mm. to get that talkie talkie done. Like you know what I'm saying? And it's like he was like, oh Poppy, I got you, Poppy, I got you, blah blah blah. I'm like, yeah. I'm like yo. So it's like, and I just went back. I remember I just go back to it. I'm like yo. I think I was sitting with my boy Aaron at the time. I was like yo, let's go over these beats. I need to figure out some other beats because I feel like maybe this ain't this ain't this ain't gonna connect. Right. So Aaron, me and Aaron went through. We picked like two three beats and we sent it off. To him, he's like, Poppy, crazy. I love it. You'll have it back t- tonight. So I'm like, all right. At this point, I'm like, I've been waiting for three months already. It's like, it's like, you know, how that shit goes. So but that I mean, shows how persistent you are in, in, in getting oh, what I'm you very set persistent. out. You know what I'm saying? And I learned that from being around Khaled, E class, and all of them Word up. coming up, seeing around it, like being persistent, like how these guys is just, they just don't stop. Like they want something done, they get it done. Yeah. So I, I take that same attitude and do it. Like people are like, hey, you don't know. I'm like, I'm going to get it done. That's it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. At the end of the day, you could be mad at me. I'm going to get it done. <laughs> and that's just, and that's how I look at it. Like, I even got the name, like Snake gave me the name, Mr. Get It Done. So like, it's like, shoot, that's that Mr. Get It Done. Like he gets it done. Yeah, which is most important, man. Cause you know, when you don't get it done, right. then that's not the rep you're trying to have out nah. here. You know what I'm saying? Um, but, but yeah, I, I definitely want to, um, you know, talk to the people at home that, you know, that you're inspiring every day that watch you, um, you know, and that are inspired to get into your lane, to become, you know, an a and an executive and build their name in this game. What is some, um, you know, what is something that these young kids at home should know about a and r before they even get into this game? You know what I mean? I mean, what, what can they expect? What it's they... all about, you know, being true to yourself, feeling the music and like, you know what I'm saying? Knowing that, okay, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got to feel it. You got to believe in it. Like, you know, you got to be real passionate. You want to put everything into it. Right like, you can't, you know what I'm saying? Somebody say, oh, this ain't it. All right. You believe in it, keep going. Cause you never know. Right. You know, at the end of the day, you just got to keep going and put all your energy into it. Whatever you could do, put everything into it. Yeah. Don't be halfway in and halfway out. Oh, I got to go do this. I got to do that. If you want to do this, all the way. You can't be one foot in, one foot out. That's, that, that's, what, that's all I can say. You can't just go buy a Rock Nation hat, no, throw it on, and now you're A&R. No, like, no, like, and then it's, no, it's not like that. It's not like you gotta that. You got to put that work in. And it took me years of a lot of work, no sleep, not even getting money for some, working for some of that stuff just to get here. Right. And I'm still willing to do it. Straight up. Like, I don't even, I don't go into a room thinking about, oh, I want to make this money, I want to make this, da 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 No, I just be like, I just want to do it because I love doing it. Because I, cause I, I go back to that feeling like I almost died. Right. You know what I'm saying? So now I just don't want to, I just do it because I, I just love doing it. I know it's a bigger purpose, it's bigger than me, and I just want to make sure that I do what I'm supposed to do. Straight up, you got to do your part. Yeah. That's a fact. Um, so, you know, you've put, you've put Osuna and Diddy on the same record. Yeah. You've put J Balvin and Tyga on the same record. Yeah. You know, and these are global anthems. You know what I'm saying? Did, I just did the Osuna and, and yeah, uh, which is crazy. Sia and, and, and the Doja Cat. So, dang, see that? Yeah. So, you know, when you're making global anthems, what, what's, what's the thinking there? You know, my question to you is, what's the thinking when you're making global anthems? I mean, so, so people at home. It's like, like I say, with, like DJ Snake is like the teacher of that. Like he made me like a whole mind, my mind frame is different. Like he's old, like he's like hard on me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and he's like, yo, Dizzy, stop worrying about the billboard charts over here. Da, da, da. Let's worry about global. Let's worry about when we touch to Japan, where we just, the song is playing everywhere. We just don't want to worry about, this is just one, we want to worry about everything. So my mind frame, when I listen to stuff, is like, I want to hear global things. Like, you know, like what, what can work all over the world? Not just, um, just in the States. For sure. So I just have a, I have a different approach how I do the global things, like, you know what I'm saying? I learned it from Snake. So you go into it already thinking yeah, global. Yeah, yeah. You, if, it, you, if it ain't global, I can't even, I, like, I'm, like, it's like, I, I don't even want to touch it. You heard that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's big. Because you know, you've, you've, you've done the regional, you did local, you did national, and now it's just, this is what the evolution is, you know yeah. what I mean? Um, and just talking about the evolution, um, you know, some people might think that once you get you know, a machine behind you, like a universal music group. Some people might think that you might have it a little easier. You know what I'm saying? Um, I want you to set the record straight. No. Right here. No, no sleeping in the trophy room. There's, you don't have it easier. Right. It's like, you have it twice as hard now, because it's like, you really got to deliver. And I deliver on every level. Like, that's my thing. I, I aim to deliver. Like, I can't, I can't go to sleep 
unless it's not even done. Like I can't even like, I'm so focused. I don't know how to turn it off. Right like that's the thing. Like, I don't know how to balance. I'm trying to learn. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? Like, so it's, it's getting me in trouble with my relationships, trying to learn right. to balance them, but cause I'm so passionate. It's just like, it is what it is. But like, I really love this. This is what I love to do. You know what I'm saying? Put great records together, put good, great people together, great energy mm -hmm. and just form that. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. what I want people to know. Yeah. So when you have the machine behind you, what, what is the what is the expectation on, on, on their behalf as far as like, you know, does your roster, you know, uh, or like talent pool widen up? Do you have more access to things? Do, do oh, you, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, how, how oh, Taki Taki definitely put me in a whole different more rooms. Right. But see, like, and I learned from that time, like, I didn't let just because I did that, like, I didn't get stuck. Like, oh, Taki Taki, like, no, I kept on. I want to go meet everybody. I want to go meet everything. I want to sit with everybody. I want to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? I want to just, because once you get that taste, it's like you want to just, you know what I'm saying? You want to keep going into it. So I just did everything, like flew everywhere, like, you know, met with all these people just to, to make sure that I have all the relationship and to keep it going. Straight up. And that's why, you know, that's what we did the, the local and the, you know, the Asuna, he came to me like with the Diddy thing and I made, like I had it. Did we, we, it was a lot to get Diddy to, you know, to finish that record out. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I, I heard that with this, this stage right here in the trophy room. I, yeah. I, I heard that one a little early. Yeah, yeah. Shout out my man Kaito, my bad. But, uh, <laughs> it, but, you know, to make it happen, like Eli, everybody, like it, it was yeah. Ryan, you know, it, it took yeah. a lot. Yeah, word up. Like, it, was, it was a lot, but, but we got what, it done. But that shows the persistence, man, I, and I really salute that because, yeah. you know, in order to break through anything, you're, you're your velocity got to be higher than whatever it is you're trying to get through, man. So, yeah, yeah. you know, you really putting it down out here, man. Nah, you um, got like, to see it and you just got to be passionate about it. And it's like, yeah, put everything into it. So, so Dizzy, there's a, uh, we're going to get into our next segment. It's called Picture Me Rolling. So um, I did the due diligence. I went through your, uh, your Instagram. I selected three photos that I want you just to kind of break down for me. Uh, I'm going to pass you this card and just go, just go left to right. There's three photos right here. Picture me rolling. Let's talk so, about that first photo right there. The first photo is like, that was like me and Snake first meeting. And like I had did, um, it was Ultra Fest. And he was like, I, I have an artist, named Zoe Dollars. And Shout out Future. Zoe Dollars. Yeah, so Future. And so we had a deal with Future. We have a partnership with Future. And Snake was like, hey, I want to bring um, a special guest to come out and perform on Ultra. And I was like, let's get Future, you know, to come, whatever. He's like, what it'll take? Boom, we did what we had to take. Future's like, yeah, shit, send it, I'll be there. No promotion, no nothing. We just jumping out on stage and whatever. So this was like, we was in the background, just in the, in the, in the green room, getting ready to go to the show and all that stuff. So, so what does that mean for you in that photo where it's like, yo, you're in a room with, you know, somebody who's, you know, recruited you, you know, to, to take what they're doing to the next level. Yeah. You have your artists in the room. Yeah. That is not that you've, but you know, you have a situation with future through your artists. Like yeah. it's really, it's, it's going down. How does that make you feel to be in that room and looking at that photo? Like this is what the uh, dream looks like, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. For real, I mean, man. It felt, it was definitely a game changer. Like it felt really, really good. Like, you know, it felt like all the steps and everything else was, you know, paying out. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like everything was coming. Like. The alliance was yeah, all lined up. That's what I saw when I saw that photo. I and it's crazy, the, 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 the mask off had just dropped. So he came and did mask off. And then like, I just remember that like, it went crazy, broke the internet viral. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? That was like, boom. Like when I, it's just those type of moments is you, you just can't even like, you can't, yeah. you know. You just it's hard to put in the words, man. Yeah. So Dizzy, let, let's get into that second photo right there. It's gonna pop up on the screen right here. So talk, talk about it. This is me um, learning to tap into my spiritual side and trying to open up, like, you know what I'm saying? Like if there's any blocks yeah. and different things, I, uh, my friend put me onto this. Um, this so is I, acupuncture. Acupuncture with, you know, some other stuff. But it's like just opening my mind to thinking different and thinking outside the box, like, you know what I'm saying? So I started doing a lot of that and like trying to get more spiritual and learn about different energies and yeah. whatnot, you know, just to how to, to approach it in different stuff, and how to I, handle it. And I salute that, bro, because, you know, for people who look and sound like us, especially in this industry, yeah. you know, it, it, it's not a lot of us that really seek a higher... No, I know, see. Trust me, you know I, I know there's a, there's a bigger purpose, and it's like, 
I thank God every day. Like, you know, I wouldn't be able to do this. Like, people are like, oh, but I'm, I'm not saying I'm the best, whatever. I just know that I'm, it's a bigger purpose. It ain't, you know what I'm saying? It's not me. Yeah. I can tell you that. Like, I'm, I'm just a vessel, and, I, and he's just leading me to do what I'm supposed to do. Yeah, and, and, and even on the just relaxation tip, because, you know, this is no sleeping in the trophy room, but we like to, you know, get some rest and, re and relax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like me, you know, um, I started a running club. Yeah. So for me, I, I run like, you know, between five to like eight miles a day, six days a week. Mm -hmm. And it started as fitness, but um, now it's just straight mental, man. Like if I don't run, you know, my girl knows if I don't run, I'm a totally different guy. Right. But it's like, it's me really seeking you know, mental and physical, just kind of alliance, you know what I'm saying? Alignment, I'm sorry, alignment. Yeah. And, um, you know, so when I saw that, I definitely... Yeah, that's why I started working on my health. So, uh, you know what I'm saying? Trying to switch up. I lost a lot of weight. Even trying Amazing. to lose more, you know, started working. I got a trainer, me and Eli. So it's like, I'm yeah, just trying man. to just... Yeah, we got to be our best different. self right here, man. Like, it's like, my, uh, my friend Yens was like, he's like, oh yeah, you want to worry about your weight and all that stuff now because you got a lot to lose. Yeah, I not for real, it. man. We need ourselves like, you know every day. You're right about that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I just, it's just the signs be coming from everywhere. I just, like, I remember I was in the Grammy party in Vegas. Yeah. And this old guy walked up to me. He's like, man, you a young man. Like, you, you, you know what I'm saying? You a handsome man. It wasn't on some, like, whatever. It was just like, I think you should try to, you know, lose the stomach down. Like, you right, know, try I think you should try it. to work it out. I'm just like, in the Grammy. It, I'm about to start drinking. <laughs> right, it's food right, and everything. Right. Here come this man on. telling me about I need to lose the weight, da 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 da, and trim down. I just like it got to be God. Absolutely, I like, heard you. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I hear you because yeah. this man just popped up from nowhere, don't even know me, yeah. and this was like, you need to do this. Absolutely, it's crazy. Yeah, but we take heed yeah. and we uh, you know pay attention to those signs. Absolutely, they come like you won't believe it. Pay attention to those signs, like you people you least expect. Whatever it is, they come and pay attention and listen. Because, like, like, if you're not going off course, he will send something to get you back on course. Straight up, believe So that. pay attention. That's why you got to be tapped in spiritually on a lot of love. Absolutely. That's, you won't miss out. Yeah. So let's get into that last photo right there. Talk to uh, me. This was the victory photo. Because it's like, the song, Taki Taki, like I say, we was like, we had got a suit on and he did the verse and the thing. And it's like, we couldn't get no one to finish this. Like I went to Jay, but I went to everybody and they all turned it down. Mm. Like, you know what I'm saying? They're like, oh, so I kind of like forgot about it. Right? I was like, so we started working on the finish of the other album. Mm. And then my boy, Brooklyn Johnny was like, I remember I went to see him in New York and he was like, he took me in his car, showed me his new car and stuff. And he's like, play me some stuff. Did it. I was like, tell him what I'm working on. He told me what he's working on. He's like, you know, I'm working with Cardi now. Did it. I was like, oh, that's dope. I said, shit, you know, I got his record with a sooner on it. Like we looking for somebody to get on it. He's like, you know, she love, she love, um, she love uh, a sooner. Uh. So I was like, all right, what's well, it? He's like, well, I'll be with her on Thursday. Um, I'll play for her and you know, see what she say. And I'm gonna be calling her, yeah, she said she like it, she gonna do it. But then like, you know, she's pregnant now. So now we deal with that and the label's like, we got deadline, blah, blah, blah. And I remember they went and got Selena Gomez on it. And I was like, it was like, yo, just let her know that, you know, we gonna, Go move forward on the record, um, you know. But we, we appreciate it because we maybe we'll get on the next one. Yeah. And I sent Johnny that text. I remember, like, she, like she, they called Facetime coming. Like, it's her and Johnny. Like, oh, I'm getting on this song. Da 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 da. Like, she was, they were just going off. Like, yeah, what yeah. you talking about? It's gonna be the biggest song in Dyke Man. And I'm just like, Dyke Man. Like, all right, cool. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. To you know, and and, and she's like, yeah, just get up here and like. And I went the next day to Atlanta and just sit down there and it's like, I remember it was like the day after, I went before 4th of July, she did, and then she's like, oh, she don't feel like going to the studio. So I'm sitting at 4th of July fighting with my person at home because I'm not even home with the family doing right. that. You work but that's a sacrifice. Yeah. If you really want this, like say if I had stayed home, I don't know what would happen. So I took that and I, I ran with it. You know, I sacrificed, went there, got the biggest argument. Right. Cool. But it's like, this was just like, when this was done, this was like the victory. Right. I said, let's take a picture. How did it feel when, when, when that first got recorded and right after you took that picture? Right? It just felt amazing. It just felt, it just felt special. It was just like, I can't explain it. You know what I'm saying? But this, it was like victory. Like, it, it changed my life. And then when people was post like, oh, are they cousins or something like that? Like, right, right. Like that? Like, and she's like, oh, people. So every time you see me, like, she's like, cousin. What up, cousin? What's up, cousin? <laughs> like, so it's like, 
That's our little thing. Like, we take it. Yeah. yeah. No, that's dope, man. But she, uh, she definitely a real one, and she, she's special. So. Yeah. Nah, man, you a real one for going down there and getting on that plane, and you know, true to your moniker, Mr. Yeah. Get It Done. Mr. Get It Done. Like, that's what Snake was like. Your name is Mr. Get It Done. Like, Word up. I even started my, I had named a company, but I did with labels like everything when I get my checks, Mr. Get It Done. Because like, they call me like, he gonna get it done. Yeah. And that's why I, I don't want to live up to that now. Like I want to make sure I get it done. Like, Believe that. Like, same thing with the uh, the lemonade we just did. The lemonade record with Nav Gun and um, you know, it's number yeah. two right now, Global. Sure. Definitely gonna go number one. Like that was something like my boy Birdman, Taz, like they came when I did the when I did the Snake album, they were like, they came the next day, like to my hotel room at, at, at in LA, like, man, we wanna put an album like this together. And he they were producers, internet money, they was producing like juice Roll. I was like, yo, y'all can do it. So we just started talking about it and it's like to see it now, like, you know, we got all these records done and now the record's about to be, you know, number two global. It's like, it's like you got to see it before it happens. And now, you know, Absolutely. just keep going. Like, I'm, I'm not going to start. I just I love doing this. Like, yeah. And I believe in the underdog. People who don't believe in like, oh, everybody's like, oh, internet money. Now, now it's like everybody's like, internet money. We know them now. Yeah, I've been seeing the, the, the billboards all all throughout LA. Yeah, like it's like they hear, like, you know, I mean, people think now they're getting the respect they deserve. Yeah. But that's amazing though, too, man, because, you know, over time your repertoire has afforded you the chance to do more work. So it's like yeah. the reward for, do, for good work is, yeah. is doing more work. Yeah. So now, you know, you're, 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 you're knocking global anthems out the park. And uh, now that's what people are coming to you for. Man. Yeah, so yeah. Like they come to me, like, play me the album. What do you think we should put on this? And I'm just like, yeah. I love doing this. I don't care, like, whatever yeah. it is, this is what I want to do. Straight it's up, like, man. it's amazing yeah. that I could get it done and make it happen. And I want to just stick to that. Yeah. So, so Dizzy, you know, um, again, this is no sleeping in the trophy room. You know, uh, how we like to wrap these interviews is by sharing some power plays. My power plays is really just advice, you know, for anybody out there who's uh, aspiring to do it just like you are. Um, what are some power plays that you could share with somebody that is, uh, you know, looking to get into this game? And you know, take it to the highest level, make it global. You know what I mean? I mean, it definitely starts with, like I say, hard work, dedication, and you know, finding something that stick on one thing. Don't be all over whatever. Like stick that one thing. Once that one thing pops, everything else gonna fall in line. Like you know what I'm saying? Like focus on that one thing. Because if you're doing all this da 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 da, you just all over the place. You gotta focus on that one thing. And once one pop, like that's what happened. Like when one, it was like one, and you get that taste. It's like you don't want to lose that taste because like you just had the best uh, steak or whatever you just had. You just want to keep eating that again. Yeah. So just like you know, just keep that and just put yourself around good energy people that's on the same type of time you on, and that's it. Just focus on that. Like put good energy around you. Always good energy. If people want to do negative stuff, you do that. You know, be yourself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody else is taken. For real. You know, just be yourself. All you can be is yourself. Yeah. Everybody else is taken. Always remember that. Don't change. Oh, you should be doing this. You should be doing that. Nah, I don't care. I do whatever I want. I talk whatever I want. I walk in how I, and people are like, yo, that's rude. I don't care. That's me. Like, that's so I'm going to be true to myself. I'm not going to hold back my mouth. I'm going to tell you what it is. And if I really love it, I really tell you what it is. If you get mad, that's on you. You know what I'm saying? You get to listen to it. Take it how you want to take it. Yeah. And that's it. So, you know, every champion has their mantra, you know, a saying, or, you know, if we was in a locker room, there'd be a saying on, on a banner, we slap it and we go run out on the field. What would your banner say? What would your, what would your champion's mantra be? Something that you live by, you know, something that reminds you of why you get up and do what you do every day. So, like, after from the, art, the accident that happened, like, did every day that I get up, Every day that I'm here, every day I get to do what I gotta do, I always, my slogan is we good. So I don't care what comes at me, whatever that it is, I'm here on this planet, we good. Like, I'm like, I feel like I'm God's favorite toy. Like, you know what I'm saying? He, if I'm get up every day, he's still playing with me. Yeah. So when he put his toy down, that's when I'm gone. So every day I'm here, I'm just like, live by that, we good. Like, it's, everything is we good. We good. I don't care if what it comes at me, da da it's like, we good. Yeah, and that's the, and that's the best and That's my. That's what I live by. We good. Yo, man, yo, Dizzy, I want to thank you so much for taking the time. I know you, you was just traveling right now, and you drove straight here to the No Sleeping in the Trophy Room, man. Well, no sleep. No literally. sleeping in the Trophy Room, literally. You are, you are the living, breathing definition. And going brother. to two other meetings in four studios tonight. Believe that. Right. Yo, man. That's what it is. Thank you so much for taking the time. I look forward to everything that you're about to do. My brother, um, 
Thank you so much, man. Yeah, thank you for having me on yeah. this. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate the platform, man. Dizzy. Love. Clean face. Flores, ladies and gentlemen. Salute. Peace. You always have to keep going to another level. So I stand on the shoulders of my successes and my trophies, but I don't sleep in the trophy. Nope, nope.